Hello everyone, this is Karim Fahmi, I'm an Azure Solutions Architect, back again after a uh, long lockdown uh, and we are still going. Um, so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Azure Private DNS. Uh, DNS, I think most of the IT people or even the basic IT people knows what is the DNS. So DNS is the domain name system. This is the system that is used to translate or resolve the host names to IPs and vice versa if you're using the reverse DNS. Today we're going to explore the beauty of the private Azure DNS. So what is actually the Azure Private DNS do? Azure Private DNS is a solution from Microsoft that is using the Azure infrastructure to provide you with the domain name system services or the DNS services without deploying your infrastructure, deploying your, um, uh, your, your infrastructure for the DNS or maintaining it or whatever. Okay, so you can use it. Uh, it helps you also to have automatic record management um, and also it, it contains all the DNS record types, records types, uh, such as the A and the four A's and the C name and, uh, and the PTR and so on, all the and, uh, SOA and NS. So it, it have a multiple types that you can use it normally like an any DNS uh, system. Uh, also, uh, it, it is available between the virtual networks, so it helps in the resolution of the host names between the virtual networks. Uh, if the virtual networks are already linked with uh, this Azure Private DNS zone, so, so if, if they are um, uh, linked with the, with, the, with the same DNS zone, so um, they can see each other. So let's go and see our demo today. Now I'm opening my subscription here and uh, I created a two uh, resource groups, as you see here. The first resource group is called AFS uh, West Europe RG01, and here is the AFS uh, North Europe RG01. And in this one, uh, I've created one uh, virtual network, one virtual machine, and in this one, I created one virtual network and one virtual machine. So our virtual machines are like those here, so this is the uh, uh, VM uh, Windows 16 data center and it's created in the West Europe. And this one is the virtual machine Windows 19, which is uh, Windows um, uh, Server 19, 2019. And it's created in North Europe. So just uh, notice those that they are created in different locations and each one of them is um, connected to a different virtual network. So I have a virtual network in West Europe and I have another virtual network in North Europe. And I created between them even a peering. So we have a peered um, uh, virtual network. So they are totally two different virtual networks and I create a virtual network peering between the West Europe and North Europe, okay. Then, Let's see how we're going to do the Azure Private DNS. So let's go here and Azure, let's write here. So Azure Private DNS. So here's a Private DNS Zones. And I'm going to create one. Already I created one. I named it lab.karimfami.d. But let me show you the one. Uh, in in action while we are creating so just choose any resource group here and name it uh, the top level domain that you have for example um yeah so whatever you like like um yeah um x y x y z dot karim fami dot d e for example, and then you create it and it's it's really easy, it doesn't need anything to do. Okay, after it's being created, so you'll get something like this. Um, and uh, in this, you already created your custom domain name. So I created mine, it's called lab.karimfami.de. Please check your, um, please take care about the parts um, and take care about the constraints and limitations while you're creating the uh, uh, private DNS zone. 
uh, and this will be mentioned in the documentation that I'm gonna share later. So um, in order to start, you have to go for the virtual links here, virtual network links, and start to add the two virtual networks. So the first virtual network, so I'm, I'm gonna name it Vnet um, WE West Europe 01. This is connected to the West Europe virtual network that I created. And you see this part, enable auto registration. This is the awesome feature that I like it really so much. So when you enable this one, and then press OK. OK, so before this one, I want to show you something really awesome. In, <clears throat> in order to verify our work before we start creating the Azure Private DNS, I want to show you a couple of stuff here. So this machine, which is the VMWin 16, contains an IIS server. And um, uh, also, you have to enable the ping uh, because it's closed by default uh, on the firewalls on Azure, on this one and, and this one too, uh, on, on, the, on the Windows uh, firewall. Uh, so, for example, if I open the VM19 here, RDP, let's see, connecting, yes, and we're going to put our password, connect inside and um, show you here okay so if we just before we uh, we start anything on the cmd to check uh, to to show you how it looks like before the azure private dns and how it looks like after the azure private dns so um, uh, make sure that you you run uh, any of those comments in here in order to ensure that the firewall rule for the ping is already enabled. If you have the rule, if, if, if the rule is not added, so you may add it by typing this into the command line with elevated privilege of administrator. If it's not, uh, if it's, and if it is already existing, so you, and if it's blocked, so you have to uh, make it allow and write this comment. Okay, I'm gonna share with you this um, in the end of the, um, uh, beside the links. So uh, I already enabled this comment and now I can ping. So if I ping, for example, the first virtual machine with name like vmwin16.lab.karimfam.d, for example, so it doesn't exist, it doesn't go. So one can ask me, hey Karim, why we couldn't ping the machine directly, like ping VM win 16. Why I should write the whole fully qualified domain name? I answer that you have to write the fully qualified domain name because in different virtual networks, you have to write it. This is a limitation in the Azure private DNS, but if you are in the same virtual network, you can write directly the VM name uh, I mean the, the host name without the fully qualified domain name. Okay. So this by nature, this won't work. Okay. If I try to ping, so I'm going to show you now the IP address of, sorry, back again here for my virtual machine. So the VM win 16 private IP address is 10.0.0.4. So if I went to here and this is IP config. This is my host name. This is my VM win 19 that I'm standing on. And I'm gonna ping the other one, which is 10.0.0.4. So it's replying because it's enabled through VNet peering. But if I make it like ping VM win 16, this is by nature won't work because they are not in the same virtual network. But if we try the VM win16.lab.carryfm, which is uh, my custom domain that I've created, also is not working. And vice versa from the um, from the VM16. Uh, also adding to this demo. So I'd like to write here, for example, VM, sorry, this is my previous demo here. So VM win HTTP. VMWin16 uh, 
dot flat dot cutting funny dot d doesn't work and if i write it alone also sixteen dot this it doesn't work now we're gonna create the private dns zones we have already created it so we go here and we start to do the virtual network link so just notice this this part here is the automatic registration is going to happen so i'm going to link the two virtual networks the west europe and north europe so let's go and do this so the first one i'm going to name it vnet sorry first one is going to vnet um um west europe link zero one okay and i'm gonna attach the west europe virtual network and you see this awesome feature here enable auto registration so let's press okay and then at the meantime we can do in parallel attaching the other virtual network which is vnet north europe link zero one and attach the virtual of north europe enable auto registration okay and go back to overview and the magic is gonna happen here so automatic registration for both of the machines you're gonna see them appear here automatically with the name of lab.careenfamily.de so if i press here refresh just wait a while to explore so the first link has been created successfully the other one still in progress so it takes a while and you're just gonna find the vms appear here i mean the the records for the air records for each one so the first one has appeared automatically without any intervention from your side so if you have a virtual network you have like hundreds of virtual machines and you need to register them register them with um your own custom domain name you can do this you can do this easily and even with multiple virtual networks okay just one note to take about it if you enable the auto auto registration here in this private dns zone if you want to link the virtual network the same virtual network to another private dns zone you cannot enable the auto registration it can be only enabled with one private dns zone at a time okay so now both of them already created so each one have its own a record one with the ip 10.0.0.4 and one 10.0.0.1.4 uh, which are totally different virtual networks let's see here so i'm gonna log in here to my oh, uh, so calls name so we are here in the vm19 and let's see so i'm gonna ping and see vm win 16 dot let me test this one it doesn't work because it's different virtual ever as i mentioned if it if i i put lab dot karim family dot e oh it's working perfect and let me open my as i mentioned the vm win 16 have an iis server running inside it so i'm gonna put lab here and here you go so it can resolve nicely and easily so let's, let's look up vm win 16 lab as you see I hope you understood the idea of the Azure private DNS and when we can use it and as I mentioned it's really easy and handy while you are doing your own migration projects to Azure and you don't want to take care about the or you want to have the hassle of having a DNS solution and maintaining its infrastructure and so on uh, also adding to this the 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 best thing from the azure i mean the limitations from the azure about the uh, azure private dns zone so you you can create 
you can attach um, uh, virtual networks like 1000 virtual network can be attached to the private zone, the Azure private DNS zones. And also uh, you can create 25,000 records inside it. And uh, I can also share with you a lot of, um, I can also, and I, I will share with you the limitations of the Azure DNS in order to have it into consideration while you are uh, planning or uh, designing your own uh, solution on Azure. Thank you for watching and, and uh, continuing our series for exploring more uh, and more of Azure functionalities and features that would help you uh, going through your uh, cloud journey. I wish you stay healthy, keep positive, stay tuned, stay at home. Have a nice day.